Baking Miracles In the quaint town of Elmsworth, there was a bakery that once flourished with the smell of freshly baked bread, pastries and cakes. However, in recent months, John, the bakery's owner, found himself struggling to attract customers. Despite his best efforts, his once active shop now stood almost empty. John had always prided himself on the quality of his baked goods, but he knew that wasn't enough. His competitors were offering new and exciting products, while his traditional recipes, though delicious, failed to bring in the crowds. Desperate and out of ideas, John recalled an old story his grandmother used to tell him about the god of risk reversal, Valentor. Valentor was known in ancient legends as the deity who could turn the tide for those brave enough to seek his help. John decided he had nothing to lose. That night, under a full moon, he set up a small altar in his bakery's kitchen, placing a loaf of his finest bread as an offering. He closed his eyes and whispered a plea for assistance. To his surprise, the air around him began to shimmer and a figure materialized before him. Valentor was a commanding presence, with eyes that seemed to hold the wisdom of ages and an aura of confidence that was almost tangible. "'John, I have heard your call,' Valentor said in a deep, resonant voice. "'I can help you, but you must be willing to embrace change and take risks.' John nodded eagerly. "'I'll do whatever it takes. Please help me save my bakery.' Valentor smiled. "'Very well.' Here is what you must do. First, offer a guarantee unlike any other. Promise your customers that if they are not completely satisfied with their purchase, they can have their money back. No questions asked. This is the principle of risk reversal. John hesitated. Offering such a guarantee seemed risky, but he reminded himself that this was his last chance. I will do it, he said firmly. Next, continued Valentor, create an experience that will draw people in, host baking classes, offer free samples, and engage with your community. Show them that your bakery is more than just a place to buy bread. It's a place to create memories. Inspired, John set to work immediately. The next day, he put up signs in his shop and around town, advertising his new satisfaction guarantee. He scheduled baking classes and began handing out free samples on the street. He even invited local children to decorate cookies, turning his bakery into a hub of activity. Word spread quickly. People were intrigued by the bold guarantee and drawn to the lively atmosphere. They came to try John's pastries, knowing they had nothing to lose. To John's delight, very few asked for their money back. His confidence grew as he saw customers returning, bringing friends and family with them. Over the next few weeks, John's bakery transformed. The once empty shop was now filled with laughter, the scent of fresh bread, and the chatter of satisfied customers. Sales soared and John realized that the true magic of Valentor's advice lay in the power of trust and community. One evening, as John was closing up, Valentor appeared again. You have done well, John. Remember, the greatest risk is often not taking one at all. Continue to innovate and keep your customers at the heart of your business. John bowed gratefully. Thank you, Valentor. I will never forget this lesson. With a nod and a smile, Valentor vanished, leaving John with a bakery that was not only saved, but thriving. And so, John's bakery became a beloved fixture in Elmsworth, a testament to the power of taking risks and the magic of believing in oneself. If you enjoyed this story, we have a wonderful gift for you. Get your free lost chapter of influence at tigertoledo.com forward slash secret. That's tigertoledo.com forward slash secret.